So with so many different Ultrabooks, two-in-ones, and laptops on the market, it can be hard to pick out the right tool for the job. So in this video, I share a few tips with JJ from Asus, plus we check out some brand new models that are gonna be released soon. Coming up. The following video is brought to you by the Yi 4K Plus, the world's first 4K 60 frames per second action camera with built-in electronic image stabilization and an integrated Gorilla Glass touchscreen. The Yi 4K Plus delivers exceptional video results at an affordable price. To learn more and to see some test footage, just go to yitechnology.com. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And we're here at CES at the ASUS Suite with JJ, and in this video, we're going to be talking about making and picking out really the best Ultrabook, two-in-one uh, notebook, or even powerhouse laptop for creating content and what you should really be looking for as we look at some of the new offerings from Asus. But how's it going, JJ? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Awesome. And the first thing we're going to be looking at is a new two-in-one that's going to be releasing soon from Asus. And what would this kind of be for for content creators um, that want to be putting out content? This is not going to be for heavy video editing, but there's a lot you can do here. Let's break it down. Yeah, so I think this is really going to be focused towards the people that are uh, on most social platforms. So if you're on the gram, you know, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, things along those lines, you're probably using your camera maybe as your primary utility in terms of capturing photos and video. Maybe you're into basic kind of mirrorless camera for videography, things along those lines. It's a perfect choice. And the main reason why is you've still got a very capable processor, eighth generation, latest generation. You've got very fast storage, which is critical because you want to be able to really quickly dump your content, go through there, be able to uh, review it, be able to kind of, you know, uh, copy back and forth, do all those things. But you also still have discrete class graphics on here, which helps to accelerate uh, different types of workflows and give you great performance. Um, and I think one of the best things is really gonna be the flexibility. So this is actually a two-on-one. So you can see right here, I can go ahead and fold this, and then I can essentially use this like a laptop, tablet type scenario. Um, the big benefit here is that when you tie this in with something like, let's say, our Asus Pen, you're gonna have the ability, let's say you wanna open up uh, you know, Facebook, you wanna make custom titles, things along those lines, you can do that a lot more easily with a pen, be able to add in your text, your adjustments, adjust your crops, your layers, all those things, and you're good to go. So it's full touch screen, um, and you can also use the pen, and then you also have the full keyboard, a very innovative design. And it comes in weighing just 1.4 kilograms, which is awesome. Uh, Windows 10 experience, and a great battery life as well. Yeah, and on top of that, you know, you've got security in here, which I think is also nice. Uh, you've got biometrics, so especially, you know, if you've got a lot of different types of information on you, you can make sure to protect your system. And a lot of future-proof connectivity. You've got USB 3, full-size HDMI, even USB Type-C. So very friendly for kind of the most modern generation devices. That's awesome. So a two-in-one like this would be great for a lot of social media content, even some light video editing. But if you wanted to uh, move into maybe some other, you know, higher-end video editing or a different style of notebook, we're going to go to a different one right now. Okay, for the second style of device that we're covering, this is actually an Ultrabook. The last one was very light in a two-in-one, but this is even lighter. JJ, tell us about this uh, model. Yeah, so this one is seriously, I think, for people that are looking for an ultra light and compact experience, but still don't want to compromise on performance. So you're still getting an 8th gen CPU support, so still very good performance for a lot of different types of workloads. You actually step up to a 4K base display with our nano edge design in terms of the bezels. You still get discrete graphics, so that's great in terms of giving you a little bit punched up performance for basic video editing workflow or acceleration, different types of editing applications. And let me stop you there because discrete graphics in most Ultrabooks really light uh, you know, devices like this, you're not going to get a separate GPU. Right. It's going to be handling the graphics and the processing all on the processor, right? The CPU. Right. So the fact that you guys put that in here is great for content creators. 100%. And the other big benefit with this being an NVIDIA-based GPU, it's the, generally the most friendly type of GPU for different types of applications for acceleration purposes. Um, beyond that, you're still not really compromising on core connectivity. You still get multiple USB 3.0 ports. You get USB Type-C. You still get biometrics as well on here. And you actually even got some pretty reasonable speakers for playback, you know, if you're uh, playing back different kinds of content or maybe, you know, just uh, streaming your favorite playlist. And that last one was 1080. This is a 4K display as well. Correct. And what is the, it's got bright colors, it's beautiful. So what is the technology there? Yeah, so here we're using a high quality IPS based display. You still have touch support as well. So you're gonna get good color gamut performance so that if you wanna be able to do a little bit more proofing, you wanna be able to make sure you're getting a good quality color grading experience, this panel will hold up to that type of workload. 
So for these first two, the first one was great, a two-in-one, if you want that diversity, and be looking for, is that the best term, a two-in-one kind of? Correct. And this would be an ultra book, and that's going to be very light. And obviously, you're not going to get that full-on kind of workstation type of performance. That'll be the next device we talk about. But if portability matters most to you, be definitely looking for an ultra book. But now we're going to go to the powerhouse for really crushing content and video editing. And then finally, for our third device, we covered the two-in-one, we covered the Ultrabook. Now, this is a proper laptop, and this is the Asus ZenBook Pro that would really kind of be competing with like a MacBook Pro, putting tons of technology, a lot of power. Talk about this one, JJ. Yeah, so you nailed it on the head. This has really been first and foremost designed for, I think, for professionals, people that want a really clean, stylized design aesthetic, premium quality materials and construction, and performance and any perspective, the way you look at a notebook, whether you're talking about sound, whether you're talking about the display, whether you're talking about the GPU, or whether you're talking about the CPU, you want to be able to ensure that you're getting great performance across the board. Now, this, like the smaller guys that we looked at, it actually is featuring a full metal body. So this is unibody metal construction. So it feels premium right off the bat, which is nice. On top of that, it's got a really nice, high quality anodized black finish, which I think just looks great. Uh, it really feels professional. Uh, you've got this beautiful, large resolution screen on here, which still supports touch, which is great because we're now seeing more and more applications especially content aware applications for professionals out there where you can leverage touch and then you throw into that of course a seriously high performance CPU GTX 1050 Ti based graphics card and you actually have a platform that's really capable of being able to actually go through and deal with high resolution photography landscape portraiture uh, you want to be able to do with multiple layers you want to get into filters post-processing batch conversions or you even want to jump into actually you know more complex workflows and you know nonlinear editors you're going to be good to go I love that. And this is definitely the one that I would be gravitating towards. And what's amazing here is that for me personally, I have a lot of times I would pick up gaming laptops to be doing video editing on the road, but those are usually bulky. They're, you know, they kind of have a certain style to them. This packs that kind of performance in a sleek, black, beautiful design, really classy, but there's a lot of specs in here. Yeah, so definitely, you know, we talked about this again for a, a, a significantly higher uh, processor, so you're going to have full quad-core based processing capabilities, much higher memory density configurations, you know, 16, 32 gigabytes, large spaces, PCIe SSD storage, you know, 256, 512 gigabytes in terms of PCI storage. Even the actual uh, sound configuration, this actually features uh, four individual speaker arrays here, so two on the uh, top front and then two on the bottom, so you actually get some pretty nice sound output here. So all the way around across the board, you're getting very good performance. Awesome. So when I think about it, I kind of think about it in terms of having like multiple different team members when creating content like we do here at Think Media. And so maybe someone on the team that's interning, they're doing some micro social media content, doing images, posting videos, um, micro edits. The two-in-one or the ultra book would be great for that. But then for heavy lifting video editing, even 4K, if it's you know H.264, this can just crush 4K editing as well as 1080 editing. Dude's doing some of the heavy lifting plus batch light room if you got a ton of photos with maybe bigger file resolutions. So again, thinking about what you need, what you need as far as portability, as far as performance, and then let's talk about kind of the timeline. Now, these are not priced yet, but when you think about two-in-one versus Ultrabook versus something like this, what are some of the ranges people could expect to spend, and then when are these all kind of expected to be dropping? So for this model right here, I would say that kind of a, a similar kind of model to what we're looking at right now would probably be in that about $1,500 to about $1,800 depending on your memory configuration, the CPU, uh, and the storage overall. But of course, everything else is going to pretty much be part of the course across any one of those models. Uh, for the two smaller guys, you're going to probably be looking at price points between about $1,200 to about $1,600. Uh, in terms of the overall time frame to release, probably a little bit later in Q1 time frame, you'll start seeing them pop up online. Awesome, JJ. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Question of the day, what kind of content are you creating and was the two-in-one, the Ultrabook, or the laptop the best for the jobs you're working on? Let me know in the comments section below. So thanks for checking out this video. Subscribe for more videos just like this and to see other videos in our CES series, just click or tap the screen right there. For another video from Think Media, just click or tap the screen right there. Until next time, Think Media is bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will Talk soon.